History of House Mouse Have you ever wondered where house mice came from and how they ended up in our homes? Well, strap in for a journey that'll take us back to the origins of these tiny yet fascinating creatures. Our story begins in the vast, wild grasslands of Asia, where the ancestors of the house mouse, known as wild mice, first made their appearance. These early mice were quite different from the ones we're familiar with today. They were more agile, had a keen sense of survival, and thrived in the challenging environments of the wild. Over time, these wild mice began to evolve, adapting to their surroundings and developing traits that would eventually shape their descendants, the house mice. But what sparked this evolution? What drove these wild creatures to transition from their natural habitats to a completely different domesticated environment? The answer lies in the advent of human civilization. As humans started to settle and build communities, they inadvertently created new habitats for these adaptable creatures. The early human habitations, with their storage of food and warmth, offered an irresistible attraction for the wild mice. Drawn to these human-made environments, the wild mice began their remarkable journey from the wild to our homes. It was a journey fraught with challenges, yet driven by the irresistible lure of a steady food supply and shelter from the harsh elements of nature. Over centuries, these wild mice underwent a transformation, slowly evolving into the house mice we know today. They grew smaller, less agile, but more adept at living alongside humans. Their keen sense of survival morphed into a remarkable ability to thrive in human-dominated environments. This transformation didn't happen overnight. It was a gradual process, taking place over thousands of years, driven by the pressures of survival and the opportunities presented by human civilization. And so, from the wild grasslands of Asia, the house mouse embarked on a journey of evolution and adaptation, setting the stage for a story that would span continents and centuries. So, the house mouse's journey began in the wild grasslands of Asia, but how did they end up in our homes? Well, that's a tale for the next chapter of our story. Stay with us as we delve deeper into the incredible journey of the house mouse. How did these small creatures leave the wild and start living with humans? This question guides us into the fascinating journey of the house mouse towards domestication. The house mouse, as we know it today, was not always a resident of our homes and granaries. They originated in the wild, living independently, but their path was forever altered when they crossed paths with another species, humans. The story of the mouse's domestication is intertwined with the story of human civilization. As humans transitioned from hunter-gatherer societies to settled agricultural communities, they inadvertently created an environment that was attractive to these small rodents. The grain stores of early human settlements provided a stable and plentiful food source, a temptation too great for the opportunistic mouse to resist. The house mouse's journey towards domestication didn't stop at the borders of these early human settlements. These creatures are incredibly adaptable, able to survive and thrive in a wide range of environments. As humans began to trade, explore, and colonize new lands, the house mouse was right there with them, hitching a ride on ships and caravans. This migration was not a one-time event, but a continuous process. Over the centuries, as human societies expanded and developed, the house mouse continued to adapt and evolve alongside us. They became more comfortable in human environments, more adept at exploiting the resources we inadvertently provided, and more skilled at avoiding the traps and predators we set to control their populations. It's a testament to the mouse's adaptability and survival instincts that they were able to leave the wild and carve out a new niche within human societies. They have become so ingrained in our lives that it's hard to imagine a world without them. But this journey was not without its challenges and consequences. These adaptable creatures hitched a ride with human societies, but what happened when they arrived in new lands? This question will lead us into the next part of our story, as we explore the global spread of the house mouse. How did house mice become a global species from their Asian origins? A fascinating question indeed. The answer lies in the footsteps of humans. As we journeyed across continents, so too did the house mouse. They stowed away on our ships, caravans, and eventually our airplanes, creating a worldwide network of tiny furry travelers. 
From their humble beginnings in the grasslands of Asia, house mice have now colonized every continent on Earth, save for Antarctica. These tiny rodents have proven to be some of the most adaptable creatures on the planet. They thrive in the bustling cities of New York and London, the quiet farmlands of Kansas and Yorkshire, and even the remote islands of the Pacific. Their global spread was not without challenges. Each new environment presented unique obstacles. But remarkably, the house mouse adapted. In colder climates, they developed thicker fur. In urban environments, they learned to navigate complex infrastructures. Their size and nocturnal habits allowed them to live unseen, making homes in our homes. As an invasive species, house mice had no natural predators in their new environments. This allowed their populations to explode, spreading like wildfire across the globe. Their sheer numbers, coupled with their adaptability, have made them one of the most successful mammalian invaders of all time. The spread of house mice is a testament to their resilience. It also speaks volumes about our own species. As humans expanded their territories, so too did the house mouse. Our history is intertwined, a symbiotic relationship that spans thousands of years and countless miles. But the global spread of house mice is not just a tale of travel and survival. It's also a story of impact. These tiny creatures have left their mark on every corner of the globe, forever altering the ecosystems they've infiltrated. So, from Asia to the world, house mice have quite the travel record. But what impact did they have on societies they infiltrated? Let's explore that in our next segment. What happens when house mice infiltrate human societies? Well, let's start with agriculture. Picture a field of grain, ripe and golden under the sun. Now imagine a group of house mice, tiny as they are, nibbling away at the base of these stalks. The damage might seem insignificant at first, but when you consider the sheer numbers of these rodents, the picture begins to change. House mice, with their rapid breeding rate, can inflict severe damage on crops, leading to significant yield losses. This not only affects the farmer's livelihood, but can also contribute to food scarcity in certain regions. But the impact of house mice doesn't stop at the fields. They've also made their mark in our homes and cities, and not in a good way. House mice are known carriers of various diseases, some of which can be fatal to humans. From hantavirus to salmonella, these tiny creatures can pose serious health risks. They can contaminate food and water sources, and their droppings can trigger allergic reactions in some people. Now it's not all doom and gloom. House mice have also played a crucial role in advancing scientific research. They share about 98% of their genome with humans, which makes them ideal subjects for genetic studies. Medical breakthroughs in areas like genetic disorders, cancer, and even aging owe a lot to our tiny, whiskered friends. Their contribution to science is immense and has led to advancements that have saved countless human lives. On the economic front, the picture is a bit of a mixed bag. On one hand, house mice cause considerable economic damage through crop losses and property damage. On the other hand, they contribute to the economy through their role in scientific research and the pet industry. So when we consider the impact of house mice on human societies, it's clear that their influence extends far beyond their diminutive size. They've shaped our history, challenged our health, driven our scientific progress, and continue to leave their mark on our world. Despite their size, house mice have had a significant impact on human societies, for better or worse. How do house mice fit into today's world, you might ask? Well, despite the leaps and bounds in pest control technology, these pint-sized creatures continue to share our homes and our lives. House mice are more than just cheeky roommates. They've carved out a niche for themselves that extends far beyond our basements and attics. In many parts of the world, House mice remain a common sight in homes, offices, and even some unexpected places like subway tunnels or airport lounges. Despite our best efforts, these adaptable rodents have managed to stay one step ahead, thriving in environments that range from the rural countryside to bustling cityscapes. But it's not all hide-and-seek with our mousy companions. They also play a crucial role in scientific research. The biological similarity between humans and mice has made these tiny creatures invaluable to the medical field. From studying genetic diseases to testing new drugs, house mice have contributed significantly to the advancements we've made in healthcare. In fact, 
It's hard to overstate just how much we owe to these little rodents. Some of the most groundbreaking discoveries in biology, including the identification of stem cells and the sequencing of the mammalian genome, have been made possible thanks to the humble house mouse. However, the story of house mice today isn't just about their contributions to science. The challenges in controlling their populations persist. Their quick breeding cycle and adaptability make house mice a tough opponent in the battle against pests. And let's not forget, they can cause significant damage to our homes and crops and are carriers of diseases that can impact human health. In conclusion, house mice have proven to be far more than just simple household pests. They are a testament to the power of adaptability and resilience, surviving and thriving in almost every corner of our world, from our homes to our laboratories. From wild beginnings to global infiltration, house mice have proven to be resilient and adaptable creatures.